Hey, Long Care Nation. So in this video, we're going to take a look at these portable Loki Thor jump starters uh, for uh, vehicles. So this is something that I've been actually meaning uh, to uh, pick up and have uh, in the uh, lawn care truck uh, for the last uh, couple of uh, years. Uh, not only do I think it would be great to have uh, in case uh, your truck doesn't start or anything like that, but because we're using uh, ride on mowers and things like that that also have starting batteries, uh, fantastic to have a portable uh, jump starter with you that you can take out into the field. You know, if you're somewhere that's inaccessible that you can't uh, get a mower started with a traditional vehicle jump starting it if you're out in the middle of a lawn or in a backyard or something like that having uh, one of these portable jump starters could be uh, just the thing to save the day the two that i so got here are from a brand called uh, loki thor and uh, they sent me to two completely uh, different models uh, the first one here is their j uh, 401x uh, it puts out uh, 2500 amps and uh, it's rated to do uh, gas engines up to 8.5 liter or diesel engines up to 6.5 liter. Uh, this unit also has preheat technology uh, which basically uh, means that uh, this will work uh, up to minus 40 uh, degrees uh, so very cold winter conditions uh, this will still be able to get uh, your unit started. Uh, it will preheat itself first uh, if it uh, senses it needs to and then uh, provide that charge uh, to your vehicle. Now my uh, particular truck here is a 2005 GMC uh, Sierra 2500 HD with a 6.6 .6 liter uh, Duramax diesel so that's 0.1 uh, larger uh, than the 6.5 liter uh, diesel rating that this one is rated at uh, but we're going to give it a try and see if that one will start uh, the truck on a full charge and the next one that they sent out here is the J3250 and this model provides up to 3250 amps of starting power. Uh, it also uses a different uh, type of battery technology uh, where this one uses your standard lithium battery. Uh, this one has a LifePo uh, style battery uh, and uh, is rated to jumpstart uh, gas engines up to 9.5 liter or diesels up to 7.5 liter. So uh, this unit uh, will do a lot uh, larger engines uh, but it doesn't have the preheat technology for extreme sort of winter uh, conditions now regardless of which model you buy uh, they will come with your uh, jump uh, leads uh, to jump start your vehicle they also come with a USB A to USB uh, C uh, adapter. Uh, they come with a DC uh, adapter, and they also come with a USB C to USB uh, C uh, cable as well. So, uh, not only can these be used to jumpstart your vehicle, uh, they got a, a couple of extra little features on both of them. Uh, so, if we open up one end here, you'll see uh, that uh, it has the input for the uh, jumper cable leads, but it also has a couple of different uh, lights on it. If we turn on the power, and uh, we can turn on the lights there so you can have a, just a basic bright light uh, if you need some light in the uh, dark uh, you can uh, put it to like a flashing uh, red light uh, and a different uh, sort of pattern of red light if you want to put it behind your vehicle if you're say changing a tire or something on the side of the road just to warn oncoming traffic so it's got uh, that feature uh, which is very handy to have and then as well on the back side You've got your uh, ports, so you got your uh, DC sort of in port for your cigarette lighter uh, adapter. So basically, you can plug this in and charge the unit on the go using your accessory outlet in your vehicle. Uh, you also have a USB C to USB C cable. You can plug that into the USB C port there, uh, and that'll let you uh, also uh, charge the unit over USB C, but it also lets you uh, power uh, USB C devices as well. Uh, this unit is uh, rated, this J401X is rated for 100 watt uh, two-way fast charging. So it'll accept up to 100 watts to charge the unit, but it'll also uh, provide up to 100 watts of charging power if you want to charge your laptop or things like that and use this as sort of a uh, battery uh, supply for your uh, small electronics. Uh, also has uh, the USB-A uh, uh, to USB-C. Again, same thing. You can uh, plug uh, your uh, say iPhone charger into that and plug uh, your lightning cable and use this as a way to uh, charge your iPhone your laptop things like that as well so same, same. with the uh, J3250 as well has the same uh, plugs on the back to be able to do uh, 
both uh, charging of the unit but also supplying power uh, to your electronics. So the other really nice feature with these units is once you power them on, uh, they uh, have a really nice display. You're going to see it flickering on camera just because of the refresh rate. Uh, but uh, in uh, you know in real life, when you're looking at it live, it's not flashing. You've got uh, your bars up there indicating how much power you have uh, with the built-in battery. So you can see I've got a full charge for bars, but it has a voltmeter there as well. So as soon as I put in uh, these leads and attach it to my vehicle battery, it's going to tell me how much voltage I have. So in the case of my lawn care truck here, because it is the winter time and I'm not driving driving it on a daily basis, uh, it tends to drain pretty quickly over about the uh, span of about a week. Uh, if I have it parked here, uh, then I'm going to have a hard time uh, getting it to uh, crank over just because of uh, the alarm, um, uh, cameras and things like that, that I have, uh, you know, aftermarket accessories uh, on the truck that are constantly draining the battery. Uh, so uh, it uh, tends to need to be driven uh, quite often, uh, but in the winter that's an issue because I just don't need the truck uh, during the winter months. Uh, so it sits here and uh, after about five days or so uh, it uh, won't start. So we're going to try to jump start it uh, with these two uh, jump starter packs and see uh, how they do. Okay, so first things first is I'm going to try and crank the truck over and see if it'll start. You can see that's not starting at all. So it's completely dead. Pop the hood and start hooking up uh, the uh, jump starter. Okay, so despite uh, my truck having two brand new batteries that are only a few months old, like I said, uh, they're constantly being drained. This unit has uh, dual battery setup so it takes a lot of juice to get this truck started okay so first thing to do is to hook up the, the uh, cables positive to positive lug there and then negative to the negative terminal there uh, these posts here are connected to both batteries so i got those hooked up there and i figure We'll do this test with the uh, least powerful J401X, uh, providing the 2,500 amps. Uh, again, this unit is only rated for a diesel uh, up to 6.5 liter. Uh, my truck is a 6.6 .6 liter, uh, but I figure once the truck starts, uh, it's not gonna be a fair test to then uh, st uh, start it again uh, with a jumper, the other jumper pack. So I figure I'll start with the uh, least powerful one. And if this unit can start this truck, then obviously uh, the more powerful one will be able to start it as well. So I'm just gonna open up the end there, plug in the terminals. <coughs> Then we're going to turn the unit on and wait for the click. There's the click. The light comes on it's saying it's got 14.7 volts available. So uh, we'll go and see if the truck will start. Cable connections here might be a bit loose. Now the manual also says if it doesn't start on the first try to leave it connected up to uh, two minutes or so uh, just to get some of that residual power into the uh, batteries that you have. And we'll try it again. There you go it started up looks like i just had one of the clamps loose uh, and just needed a little bit of a wiggle to get uh, better contact and it started right away uh, so obviously uh, this much more powerful uh, j3250 uh, will be able to uh, start the truck if that least uh, or you know lesser powerful model will this again this unit will is rated up to 7.5 liter diesel and 9.5 liter gas all right just for the heck of it 
I'm going to grab the J3250 and hook that up and see uh, how that one does. It obviously should be able to start the unit being more powerful. So the camera down here. Turn the unit on. There's the click, and it's ready to go. So there you have it with that one. Obviously uh, not an issue with this one being uh, more powerful, uh, providing 3,250 amps uh, versus the 2,500 amps of the other model. Let's pull that out. And now we can safely undo the leads. So there you go, guys. That is a quick look at those uh, Locathor portable jump starters. Again, just a quick recap, uh, the model J401X. Uh, the X stands for uh, their preheat technology. They also have this available in a J401 that doesn't have the preheat technology, but that allows you to use it in extreme uh, winter conditions, up to 2,500 amps of uh, starting, and this one will do. Uh, gas engines up to 8.5 liter and diesel engines up to 6.5 liter. Then we got the J3250 with up to 3250 amps uh, this unit will do uh, gas engines up to 9.5 liter and diesel engines up to 7.5 liter this also uses a lifepo uh, four uh, type batteries in it versus the standard lithium batteries uh, so overall uh, these are less volatile uh, batteries uh, can stay uh, for much longer periods of time without having to do any sort of maintenance charging on them and overall give you a longer service life uh, with this uh, style of battery uh, versus uh, the standard uh, lithium style battery although these are still pretty darn fantastic as well so uh, that is a quick look at those uh, portable jump starters something that i think uh, for a lawn care business landscaping business you should definitely at least have one of these uh, in your truck at all times whether it's for the truck or for your mowers or if you're landscaping and using things like skid steers and stuff like that having some way to be able to uh, jump start uh, your equipment while out in the field uh, these uh, absolutely fit the bill uh you know even this smaller one here uh, with the 2500 amp uh, and being rated for less uh a smaller diesel engine than what i have here in the truck was still able uh, to wake uh, my sleeping giant here after uh, over a week of sitting here uh, not being used so uh with a completely flat battery on it uh, this unit started it right up so uh, that's it for this one guys uh, let me know in the comments below uh if you guys uh, use jump starters or have them in your truck uh, for emergencies uh, and that sort of stuff uh, in your lawn care business and uh, what you think of these uh, Loki Thor uh, versions.